News for Jack's I team has uncovered multiple disciplinary actions against a former Duval County music teacher now charged with inappropriately touching and communicating with the student. Jeffrey Clayton taught at Douglas Anderson School of the Arts more than 20 years before he was arrested last month. I team investigator Ann Maxwell has been going through his personnel file and disciplinary records today. Ann? Kent, many former students at DA as well as parents and teachers have been asking why nothing was done about Clayton earlier. The documents we obtained today show school leaders received multiple complaints about the music teacher and could have fired him years ago. Tonight we also have our first look at texts a local attorney says are between Clayton and the student he's charged with having an inappropriate relationship with. This text exchange provided to the I team by attorney Brad Gibson appears to show Jeffrey Clayton knew he was at risk of being arrested. One message says nothing is truly deleted. The easiest thing, even if they don't see what was written, is the vast number of messages and FaceTime at odd hours. Gibson is representing the student Clayton is accused of touching and kissing at a school office. In this conversation, Clayton purportedly texted, just so you understand why I'm texting you. Though I'm not giving up or giving in, I realize if the situation gets to where our phones are investigated, these messages won't matter. The response is, I'm not sure I understand. The thread continues, it means if they take our phones, it won't be tonight's messages that get us in trouble. It will be all the other ones that came before. Clayton's personnel file shows he was reprimanded in 2006 for conducting a private lesson with a student in his office during a teacher workday. In 2009, he received this letter from the Department of Professional Standards, directing him to refrain from any unprofessional actions or behaviors in the future. It warned if he didn't, he would face serious disciplinary action that could result in his termination. The letter says he had been offering advice concerning a student's eating disorder, even though he wasn't qualified to, closing the door of his office during student-teacher meetings, inviting the student to lunch and suggesting they might want to work out at his gym, and pulling them out of classes to check on their progress. But Clayton did get in trouble again. He was pulled from the classroom in 2013. A former DA student says it was because of how Clayton was touching students during instruction. And in 2021, school investigators found Clayton inappropriately put his arm around a student, rubbed her back, and told her she was beautiful. In the disciplinary records, a box is checked saying he was disciplined, but there's no documentation of a punishment or him being removed from the classroom, despite the seriousness of the allegations and Clayton's previous warning. The chair of the school board responded to these new revelations today, saying she is appalled. Leadership was aware of the teacher's behavior as recently as 2021. She says the board has begun the process of hiring an outside law firm to investigate the Clayton incident, and she's convening a meeting of the school board next week. Live from the studio, Ann Maxwell, Channel 4, The Local Station.